What's going on guys? I am True Racer and in this video we're going to take a look at Kart Racing Pro. As a, as a lot of you guys know, I'm, I'm a, a big sim guy as well as a, a carter. So I'm actually really excited for this, uh, this sim coming out. Uh, it's, it's been out for a little bit, but it's got a lot of momentum behind it now because it just went on Steam Greenlight. Um, which doesn't mean it's on Steam yet, it just means if it can get a lot of, uh, a lot of momentum and support behind it, they're going to bring it, release it to Steam, which is kind of partly why I'm making this video. Because we're going to kind of talk about some of its benefits and features as a sim, and I'm going to show you some of the different tracks and cars and different stuff with it, with it. So, so without further ado, let's get this uh, started up. All right, as this loads up, let me put my uh, put my gloves on here. <clears throat> the first the first cart we're going to run is the F100 series. It's a 100 cc single single drive motor. Um, this is actually a really good inexpensive cart if you kind of want to get into karting. A lot of people go go this route. Uh, so we're going to choose this one as our, our first first run, and we're going to choose the uh, the Tony car chassis. So let's uh, let's done there and we're gonna, we're gonna hit test we're just gonna go testing uh lanato sure we'll keep it clear we'll keep the uh the conditions fairly simple for now and let's hit the track one of the first things you notice in this sim is it's it's kind of like a hardcore sim so you know it's not even it's not even started right so i have to you literally have to push the car Alright, so I've had a couple of laps of practice here. Uh, let's see if I can beat my best time of a 472. Let's see if I can get into the 46. That's not a good way to start. Well, I don't think it's going to be this lap. But one, of the, one of my really things I really do like about this is. One, it uses the authentic Micron. It's, it's actually the same exact Micron I have on my, my shifter cart, which you guys might have seen in my other videos. So, so that's, that, that uh, resemblance realism is something I can appreciate. Okay, it's serious lap. Serious lap time. We're going to run out of this last corner. Nope. Okay. There we go. Right, so a little lift in the turn one. Break in the shadow, don't hit the curves here. A little break. Kill. That curve got me get. Right. But another really good thing about this sim is it's got, it, it's, it is a smaller sim, but it's already coming out with some really cool features like uh, dynamic track. The last company uh, they implemented dynamic tracks and like tire build up and stuff. I don't think I'll be able to get enough laps here by myself to actually have a visual difference. But it's definitely something uh, I've, I, that they showed in their video in the time lapse of the build up, which is really cool. I'll the 49 six So I'm definitely excited about the dynamic, dynamic tracks. It's actually a step ahead already of my racing. I racing just announced their dynamic track, or these guys have already had them out already. Another, and another thing, now that I kind of already boxed this lap, is like if you look at the wheels, look, it actually has like we build up of grass and stuff. If you look, and then it kind of goes off, and it affects your grip too. Like, see, then after after a while, it'll, it'll come off. But there's actually like build up on the tire and, and stuff like that. So that's something. That is quite awesome. Alright, seriously, now let's go and see if I can get a good lap in here. I want to get a 46. Make me happy. We're going to cross the line. That was a 55. I'm going to get a 46 here. Flight lift in the turn one. Back on throttle. Break in the shadow. Alright, so that's his curve up again. I get every time. Every time I mess up,
Guys, after a short all-day run to IKEA, we're back. Let's um, let's jump into the the shifter cart, which I'm quite excited about, as well as uh, change it up a bit with uh, instead of the the Tony cart, we're gonna go with the the Lotus. Yes. So uh, let's pick uh, let's pick the cart here. So the F100. Let's go with the the KZ1. What they a little disappointing is uh, the KZ1 is the a big American shifter cart class, whereas in America it's a lot of the uh, Honda CR125s, which it's about the same motor, but it's not the exact same, so it's not perfect. But it's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll can, I can deal with it. And instead of the the cart, we'll go with we're going with the Lotus, baby. Yes, with the uh, classic Lotus paint job of the the black and gold. Load times can improve a little bit, but we'll let it slide. Ooh, we even got the nice uh, loaded suit. I am sold. All right, let's. Uh, where are we at? All right, let's done. Let's hit the let's hit the test track again. Doo -doo -doo. Test Lenato. No, I want to go to uh, Circuit International. Be easy. Should be easy, right? Be easy. Uh, we'll keep it clear this time. The next uh, we'll. we'll We'll test out some of the rain, rain uh, physics and rain weather in the next, uh, in the next cart we give a try. <clears throat> All right, let's pull out of the. I stalled it. I stalled it. I gotta push it again now. We got the clutch in. There we go. Talk about some realism. All right, let's pull this. <clears throat> Bring this thing out of the pits and uh, get a couple practice laps in. I do definitely like this paint job. Or right, after that, that uh, little bit, that little session there, I kind of noticed a few things wrong with the cart. Um, not really wrong, but some handling characteristics that I didn't like. So another good thing about the sim is setup stuff is all all legitimate and really really good and accurate. Like Ackerman track width. Um. Let's see what else we got. We got drive training. Change the gearing because it's a shifter. Uh, I don't think you can change the actual specific gears, but you can just change which sprockets are at and what miles per hour or kilometers per hour they're going. Uh, this was this the gearing wasn't bad here. Chassis or axle. A lot of this, uh, a lot of stuff. It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually gonna help me because that's one of the things I'm trying to do is learn as many of the tuning stuff for the chassis. In the engine, but this can this can really help me with uh, a lot of my chassis stuff and learning what things do in specific situations. So, uh, in that regard, I'm definitely going to be using this to learn from uh, fuel. Shit, I didn't put, man, I didn't realize all this stuff before. I think the balance. I want to go shift a little bit. It was uh, a little too uh, squirrely under braking, and I want to kind of make it a little bit better on the slow slow through the corner. So let me rear. Make it a little bit uh, wider in the uh, wider in the rear, and go to the max for Ackerman. Ackerman is uh, how one wheel goes down and the other one kind kind of comes up, or it's very similar to what Caster does with the front front end, which will lift up my inside rear tire. So let's hit the track again, and hopefully this will uh, save as fast. Hopefully this will uh, fix up a few of those tuning issues, and then uh, I can get back to it. For some reason, the mic run isn't working for this part, or at least the lap time is. I don't know if I pushed a button I wasn't supposed to or not, but I, don't know, I think I can check it at the end. Another thing that's really cool with the sim is you can uh, you can export the C C P S or C S B file, uh, and uh, and then you can 
you can put that into a Motec file and uh, review all the data. So I'm going to try and figure that out too after this. And if I do, I'll, I'll show you guys in this video as well some of the Motec data that I pulled from this game. And with that, I can kind of compare my lab or compare my lab with other people. So hopefully, I'll try and get that to work and then I'll see you. I'll show you guys that too. I stalled it. Stalled it. Get over the hill. Get over it. No. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I beached myself. Oh, yeah. There we go. Thank you, invisible guy, for pushing me backwards. Push me up the hill. Clutch it. There we go. Back in. Alright, I'll get myself one more. I'll get myself another try at a quick lap. Uh, then we're going to jump into the 125 uh, single speed. I don't know if you're going to call me a rotate or tag. Or I forget what this game calls them, or the sim. We'll give that a try, and we'll try in the wet too. We'll give some uh, wet, wet going a try. gonna do it for the shifter cart let's uh let's jump on over to the uh, other one and try out some of the rain try out some of the uh rain simulation so i'm excited about that let's let's jump on over there all right uh, let's choose our last cart of the video i'm gonna go with the kf3 i think that's the uh the high speed single shifter i'm not really single speed i'm not sure these are the european uh actual uh cart models let's pick that one up and we're gonna go with the crg CRG chassis. <clears throat> See which one uh, we like best. Oh, come on, load time. There we go. And part Lotus. Now we'll go with the CRG, baby. CRG all the way. A lot of uh, CRG fanboys. CRG, yes. All right, let's rock and roll. You can actually do a lot. You can change your helmet. Micron, or you can go with a different uh, different dash. I like the Micron because that's what I run. You can even run a different intake if you wanted to. Paint, official, official 2009. Different, some different bodywork. Oh, suit and, uh, I think you can, oh, cool. I think you might be able to upload your own. No. I don't know, maybe. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's choose another track and put a little bit of the wet weather raininess going on. All right, test. I don't know, that one wasn't too easy. Ray, Ray House Cart Circuit? Sure, that one looks good. Conditions, clear, cloudy, rainy. Yes, rainy. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, let's give, it a, let's give it a go. I don't know how this is, this is going to go, but uh, got to be gentle on the throttle, I guess. All right, so here we are at the, uh, the rainy track. I'm going to go to the garage because I don't think they put on the wet tires automatically. Um, let me go to the general and do a quick little uh, uh, rain setup for the cart. Okay, compound. Yeah, see, it's on hard. I need wets. Wet one, two, three. Uh, I wish they told me what the difference was between these. I'm going to go with a wet two. Seems legit. Uh, now, chassis. Let me... Uh, Got to make it rotate in the rain. Otherwise, it doesn't rotate. Well, I know that's at least for a shifter cart. So, let's do a few things. Where's the... Others, you know, make the rear skinny as possible, front as wide as possible, and then raise the pressures up. Oh, it's in bars. I got it. All right, well, all right, well, that goes up. Up, do do do. All right, Ackerman Max. 
I'll do it right or whatever. All right, well let's just try that and see where see where it brings us. Done. Save as default. Sure, whatever it wants to be. GG. All right, let's hit let's hit the track. Oh yeah, so at the rain tires, baby. Oh, this is just a single speed. Ooh, boy. <laughs> this is just a single speed car here, so not too much. Yes, that's how you take the corners. It uh, really bogs down on the low, and I don't even know this track either. Alright guys, so I definitely wanted to save the best for last. I got got about eight laps here. It's uh, clear weather but 100 percent rainy. So it was like a, it was like we just had a sun shower. Okay, and you can actually start to see the track starting to dry up already. Oop, I missed that break point. Oh. I didn't that wasn't that didn't go to plan. But you can kind of start to see the track drying up already. Which my opinion, it's pretty badass. I don't think there's any other Sims to it. Actually, I think maybe Project Cars has it too, but Project Cars is a, is a racing game, not something I'm interested in. But yeah, you can see the track is drying. And another thing, it's drying to my line too. Because uh, I did about 10 laps in an earlier session, and then I did this. And then I decided to come back in to see if it was just drying over time or if it was drying from my line and it was drying from my line and a lot of uh to be honest the first 10 15 laps i did i was all over the place so the line wasn't as precise whereas this one i've got a little bit more practice and had a couple better lines so the dry the dry line that's starting to form is a lot more accurate to what it should be it's, it's literally going off of me and not just a time lapse let me tell you, well, one of my other really favorite things about this is the hand gestures, right? I mean, obviously you should have two hands on the wheel at all the time when you're driving, but what else we got? Ugh. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, and then if you're mad at somebody else, come on, man. Uh, or like, oh, I just made that mistake. Ugh. <laughs> uh, lovely wife. Hey, honey. Hey, look. Look, do you think... Look, this is this is what I think about this game, okay? Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, I guess got a hand gesture and stuff like that. No, in the middle finger, but I can do this when I get angry. Oh, it's like. It's or this if I want to get get at somebody else. Does it have like voiceovers and brightening or anybody else? <laughs> Fucking brightening. No, I wish that would be the next crazy. Leave me alone, man! Don't talk to me. Maybe the owner know what I'm doing. For the most part, this is uh, that that's car racing pro. I try to you know cover the three basic, uh, three big carts and some of the tracks. Um, as far as multiplayer, it does have online multiplayer, but the sim isn't really big enough to have just regular public lobbies. Uh, if you go to the the car racing pro website, there's a forum where you can join leagues where people do. How people do like scheduled events and stuff like that, which I'm actually going to start looking into because I want to try racing and bring you guys some ra actual races of this of this sim, which I think are going to be pretty pretty awesome. <clears throat> and this is, I think, beta 14C, <laughs> something like that. So they're definitely constantly making improvements, which is definitely something I like to see because um, it's definitely not perfect. You know, some of the things it's like. These graphics aren't the best. I think some of the frame rate's kind of down, which could be partially due to my, my triple monitor setup here. And that was when I first started, so my lines were terrible. Oh, oh gosh. Well, that, I landed it, actually, so that was uh, astonishing. Now which way do I go? Well, as those laps progressed, I actually seemed to be getting worse. But definitely, uh, I'll put a link to it in the description below of the Steam. So you guys can check that out and definitely give it a thumbs up. we got to try and get this game to come 
mainstream Steam, so we can uh, have some really good races and some really good uh, good development and growth to this sim because I really I really enjoy it. And check it out on Steam and let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you guys have have anything to add to this video that I might have forgotten or or what you would want to see in the sim in future updates. But yep. Nevertheless, guys, make sure to hit the like button if you want to see more Car Racing Pro. And until the next video, guys, stay true and race on.